In March of 2022, a Trackmania player made an unbelievable discovery. A brand new shortcut on the official track AL2 Race. One of the most simple courses in Trackmania Nations Forever. This entire track can be completed in 15 seconds, and it's made up of a left turn, a big jump, and a right turn into the finish. Looking at all the incredible shortcuts Trackmania players have done over the years, it was shocking that one had gone unnoticed on a map as basic as this one, hiding in plain sight for 14 years. This is the story of AO2 Race. During the video, I challenge you to try to spot the shortcut yourself. It's harder than you might think. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss when I upload new Trackmania content. It really helps me out. Now then, let's get on with the story. The first traces of a potential shortcut were found in February of 2010. Back then, the world record on the track was a 1561 by the player Barry. In the start, Barry went all the way out to the right before fully turning in towards the left corner. He did this to minimize airtime on the bumps after the turn, and also because on dirt in Trackmania, steering loses you speed. And generally, you want to steer as little as possible to build up speed on dirt tracks. That is why, on the following turn, he went all the way from the inside to the outside barriers, carrying as much speed as he could towards the big jump. He then landed far on the left side and did a smooth final turn into the finish. For its time, this was a very strong record, and players started thinking outside the box in order to beat it. The first and most readily available shortcut idea on AO2 Race was to skip the first turn, by beelining directly to the checkpoint. Several variations of this were tried, but none were even remotely close to Barry's record, since they all crucially lacked the speed for the ending. The second and more promising idea was discovered by the player William B, who wanted to jump out to the right after getting the checkpoint. However, there are a lot of obstacles that prevent you from going directly to the finish. William's idea to get past them was to turn his car sideways and perform a bug slide on the dirt mountain, flinging his car into a backflip in between the trees and then climbing over the wall to get to the finish line, skipping the final turn entirely. The path evidently worked, but was it faster than the normal way? William started experimenting with it, and on the 24th of February 2010, he shared a completed run with the community. A 16 second time. Four full tenths of a second behind Barry. And just looking at it, it was hard to see where one could improve further. Only a month earlier, in January of 2010, a very similar shortcut had been done on the track Stadium A2, where a jump onto a dirt mountain followed by a bug slide into the finish revolutionized the track, which gave players some faith in William's idea. The problem though was how precise the trick was to perform. Getting the correct angle required hundreds of attempts, as if you angled the car too much sideways, it would fling you the wrong way. And if you didn't angle enough, then simply nothing happened. Also, by the looks of it, the trick only really had the potential to be faster with a world record level start which perhaps would be best spent just driving the normal way. A few players tried the idea, but nothing more came of it at the time. And one year later, in December of 2011, a big discovery happened on the map. A young and aspiring Trackmania player by the name of Race Hans, who is now known as one of the greatest players, was chasing his first ever world record in the game. And on AL2 Race, he found something very interesting. The understanding at the time was that steering the car on dirt would always lose you speed, but after the car shifts into the fourth gear at around 230 speed, that is no longer true, due to something called speed slides. If you steer the Trackmania car and make it gently slide towards one direction after you pass the fourth gear, it will accelerate faster than if you're just going straight, and race Hans managed to take advantage of this on AO2. He drove the start just like everyone else, but immediately after the car shifted into the fourth gear, he started speed sliding, wiggling the car back and forth all the way up to the jump, and building up a massive speed advantage. From there, he could just cruise into the finish with a new world record, 1557. 
400s faster. This discovery was massive and led to a flurry of new records on the leaderboards. Some players managed to beat Raisons' time, but only a few days later, he would take it right back. And by the end of the month, Raisons held the record with a 1553. This improvement seemed like it would make things even more difficult for the shortcut players. But they too could utilize the additional speed the Wiggle gave them. And in fact, it actually resulted in more promising shortcut attempts. In September of 2012, William managed to get a new best time with his route, 15.80. In that run, he lost a tenth of a second to the world record in the start. But the ending seemed close to perfect. 27 hundredths left to go. His run inspired a few new players to have a go at it, but the hype was short-lived. The idea that you could be wasting your time trying a shortcut that was potentially slower than the intended way was demotivating to say the least, and most players gave up quickly thereafter. For the next few years, the shortcut fell into a state of limbo. Every now and again it would be brought up, tried a few times, and then quickly retired back into the idea bank. Basically everyone had given up on it, except for William B, who in 2015 once again improved his shortcut time, down to a 1569. Only faint remnants of this run still exists, but one can see he got a slightly faster start and an even faster ending. This was the ideal shortcut run on AO2, and it was still 19 hundredths slower than Raisons' record of 1550. After that run, William too stopped trying the shortcut, as it seemed like there was just no way to gain the remaining time. In 2017, beating the world record with a shortcut would get even harder, when a new trick was discovered on the map yet again. There's a fundamental trackmania principle that the less time you spend in the air, the more time you'll spend accelerating on the ground, and that reducing airtime will almost always be faster. And on the big jump on AO2, there had been talks of a potential strategy to land earlier. The player Roland was the first to give it a serious attempt. When he approached the big jump, he lined up his car all the way to the right side of the track, and then he jumped as diagonally as he could while still landing on the road and tried to touch the dirt fence with his wheels to get a stable landing. It was a completely absurd strategy to go for, but the earlier landing would give him more speed towards the finish, and could save a few hundredths. But the only way to find out was by trying, and trying he did. Roland played the map for several weeks, and finally, in May of 2017, he got this run. A 1548, two more hundreds shaved off off of a very optimized track. With most shortcut ideas exhausted and this trick being so difficult to perform, it seemed like a record that could stand unbeaten for a long time. But one year later, in December of 2018, the French player Alien was hunting the record, and he managed to do something that no one at the time thought was possible. In the start of the run, he managed to match Roland's pace up to the checkpoint. But on the big jump, he got an even lower trajectory than Roland. It looked like there was no way it could possibly result in a clean landing. But with a well-timed air brake, his car perfectly rolled off the dirt fence, and the landing pushed him forwards on a tight line towards the finish. As he crossed the line, he got an incredible 1544, 4 hundredths of a second faster on one of the most optimized contested tracks in the game. People were stunned and sat with a feeling that they had just witnessed what peak performance on the track looked like. How could anyone possibly improve further? The simple answer is that for a long time, they couldn't. Alien's record on AO2 would go on to become the second oldest world record in the game. It was a ridiculous time with the normal way and William Shortcut seemed too slow to beat it. But in 2021, the Trackmania community would finally get some answers to the shortcut mystery, when Dunadigu developed a tool that allowed players to create their own tool-assisted speedruns, the Trackmania interface. 
In this tool, you can replay any string of inputs, manually edit them frame by frame, and brute force attempt runs thousands of times over until you create a theoretically perfect speedrun. The player plus Direx decided to try William's shortcut in the Trackmania interface to see if he could find any way to make it faster. What he discovered was that if you balanced on the nose of the car, it would climb over the finish wall quicker. And after some experimentation, he was able to make this tool assisted speedrun. Fifteen forty two, a mere two hundreds faster than Alien's record, but proving that in theory the shortcut could be faster than the normal way. However, Plusterex would take it one step further and collaborate with the player Sajrod to create this run. A fifteen seventeen a full 27 hundreds of potential gain. All you had to do was get a powerful bug slide on the mountain, perfectly balance the car on its nose, and clip the red string of the castle to flip the car into a bug finish on the panel. This works because of an oversight from the developers, where they made the finish line clip slightly into the side of the finished blocks. So by hitting the panel in a precise spot with the back wheel, the run counted. Both of these shortcut methods were equally insane to attempt in real speedruns, and they really didn't bring humans any closer to breaking the track. So what now? Could there really be another shortcut hidden on the map somewhere that nobody had discovered yet? No one in the community could imagine that there was anything left to discover on AO2 Race, and saw the track as uncuttable. But on the 15th of March 2022, Jav had a groundbreaking idea on the track, and decided to make a tool-assisted speedrun of it to try it out. After several hours of tweaking, this is what he came up with. Fifteen nineteen. 200 slower than the other tool-assisted run, but this idea looked way more approachable for humans. What Jav had discovered is that with a pixel-perfect approach angle on the jump, it was possible to thread the car in between the trees at full speed. And though it required incredible precision, if you got through, you could set up for a much faster wall climb into the finish. And with all the crazy shortcuts that have been done by humans in the past, this one looked seriously possible as well. In the YouTube video about the run, Jav wrote that he wouldn't be surprised if someone managed to do it this year. But immediately after he published the tool assisted run, the shortcutting team Fastest Way Only got to work. And the very next day, Rollin got this run on the track. 1542, the first ever shortcut time in AO2's history. Ever since 2008, this idea had been out there all along, and it took the community 14 years until they discovered it. William's shortcut ended up being possible as well, but in hindsight it blinded players from looking further for a new shortcut on the very same track. Since its discovery, Hefest and Roland have battled for the record. Hefest managed to do a 1535, and Roland took it back with a 1533. But surprisingly, he improved his record one more time. 1528 an overall incredible run with a solid start, a great shortcut, and a near-perfect wall climb. The story of AL2 Race really makes you wonder what more could be out there that hasn't yet been discovered. We like to believe that Trackmania is a solved game, and every year we get surprised with new and incredible optimizations. 
If you yourself managed to spot the shortcut during the video, then congratulations, and thank you for watching until the very end. Before I go, I want to give a big thanks to my patrons for the continued support. I sincerely appreciate all of you, but that's all for now guys. I will see you all very soon with a new video, and until then, as always, have a good one.